I start with this top and bottom piece. This will be the two side pieces. All four pieces will be connected using housing joint. This next piece will also be inserted here using housing or dado joint. I start by laying out the housing. I mark 2 cm from both sides which will be rounded later. I roughly mark the other side by placing the stock. I decide the length of the dado by placing one of the side pieces. I mark the depth of 8 mm with a marking gaze. Once rough layout is made with pencil, I mark one side of the dado with knife. I remove the waist with a chisel and create a knife wall. start chopping on the knife wall and then remove the waste. I continue the process until I reach the required depth. Now I place the side piece and mark the other side with knife. I perform the same operation on the other side. Now I need to remove the middle part with a chisel. Once I reach near the required depth, I shift to the next tool that is a primitive form of router plane. I clean the corners with the chisel. Time to dry fit the joint. I completed one of the joint. I will get back to you after I complete all the four dados. I have completed all the four dados now. Now I need to decide for the location of this separator. To decide the position, I measure the width of the clock and mark at the same distance so that the door will look square.
video in similar way on both side pieces. After creating the dado, I have prepared the separator which goes perfectly into the dado. Since this clock will run on a quartz and I need to replace the batteries, I decided to keep the back of the clock open. I will only place this piece on top to fix the hanging part, while the bottom part will have a back. This will be the hanging part which will be fixed on the top piece using mortise and tenon joint. Later on, the top piece will be shaped. I start by connecting these two pieces. I already found the center of each piece. Now I align the center and mark the ends. There will be two mortises here. Using my mortise keys, I mark the mortises. With the same setting, I also mark the tenons. I further divide the space for two mortises. Chop the mortises. I also mark the depth of the mortise on my chisel and continue chopping until I reach the mark. After completing the mortise, I had to prepare the tenon as I was not confident with a saw because I had to remove very little amount so I used a chisel to remove most of the waste. Some recordings but uh, my back is ready now next I need to join the pieces with the clock for this I align the center and mark the soldiers for another mortise and then and join the mortise of two side pieces and create a 8 mm deep mortise.
Once both mortises are ready, I prepare the tenon. For the tenon, I cut the soldiers with the saw and chisel the waist. for the tenon and dry fit it. Next I need to create the recess on the top. the marks and then create some relief cut. Then I chop away the waste. shape the upper part. I mark a line on the top and using the center of the line I draw a semicircle. Using a zigzag I cut the shape and refine it with spoke shape. All the weight of the clock will be carried by the hanger. I decided to add two pegs and not depend only on glue. Fix the top piece with glue and peg. In the next episode, I will complete the rest of the clock.